Hello there. I'm glad you can make it. My creator is currently getting everything together. He asked me to inform you if the content helps you. Consider hitting that subscribe button and tapping on the like button. I don't understand the importance of this. I guess it's a human thing. Anyways, check out the hologram. My creator should be back momentarily. Hey, what's up everybody? Sage here. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about getting morphs from accessories like dresses and bracelets or anything that you might have going on in Das Studio over into Character Creator 4 and iClone. It's actually really, really simple. So I already have my scene loaded up here and to make things easier, it's literally just the model and the dress, no hair because those have morphs and stuff as well. So I'm not going to worry about it. Keep it to keep it simple and to the minimums. So we're going to start by having the model selected and then we're going to go file, export. And then I already have a test run right here. So we're going to rewrite that one and it'll be dress morphs is what I'm naming it. You can name it whatever. And then, yes, I want to replace it. And all you have to have is morphs selected. And we go into the Edit Morphs Exports. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So right here, you see how they all say yes, right? So how this works is it'll search your entire model and anything dealing with morphs for these particular values that you set, right? So Edit Morph, and I have it right here in the match name, right? So when you start a new one, so we'll do add. This is how it's going to look, just like this. So you want to double click, delete, and then you want to type in at least the front part of the morph set. So for my example, it has candy dress 6449. So anything that has candy dress 6449 is going to be exported out. It's one of the rules that you put in here. Now, I could make that even more narrow by saying wind, and then it only export the wind ones, right? So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. Oh, you also want to change the action. It'll start out on bake like this. You want to click on that and turn that into export, and then you hit accept. And then you will see these yeses by the selected. That's when you know you've done it right and which ones will be morphed up, will be exported out. So I have a whole slew of them that will be exported out. Now, some of these will not be because they don't match the criteria. You see how these say not used? That's because it doesn't match any of the rule set that I have in the edit morphs. So we'll go ahead and accept that and let it do its thing. It's going to be converting all that over. And then as soon as it is done, we will, oh, there it is, it's done. So we will go to Character Creator 4. And we have our model here already set up. So we're going to do Transfer, CC3+, plus, the same file that you just saved, Dress Morse is what I named it. Okay. And it's going to come up asking the same basic stuff that it always asks anytime you try and transform. You can do Advance if you want. And change the te tex uh, textures of the model. For this purposes of this video, not gonna worry about it, just gonna hit the basics, keep it simple, and then it's gonna ask for the maximum size. Normally, if I'm actually gonna use this, I will bump it up to 4K, but not gonna bother for the tutorial. Click OK, and then our model will be loaded in. There she is. All right, so we go into scenes, and if you go into oops, right here, candy dress, and then we go to morphs, and you click on it, it'll be blank at first. You just got to click off and then click back on it. You will see that we now have our morphs, and they work. And when you take this into iClone by hitting this button right here, it'll take the dress with it. Those morphs will actually transfer over to iClone as well, so you don't have to go into the morph creator and create them through that scenario as well you can literally just take these and just bloop, right over to iclone which is really nice anyways i hope this video helped you out if it did leave a thumbs up a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video take care
Bye-bye.